Well, starting today, this marks the return of the Rose City Vintage Market at the Portland Expo Center. Vendors from around the Northwest and beyond are making deals at the uh, at the market today and tomorrow. It's going to be all weekend long. Core Harlan live this morning getting a look, and uh, this is not uh, a vintage event to be missed, Core. You always seem to find some pretty good stuff when you're at these events. Well, I have a lot of good people that are going through a lot of this, and one of them is here, a nomadic vintage PDX, an exquisite rug makes a house a home, is what the motto says. And as you can see, all these carpets here, Bradley's going to show you all these rugs. They're carpets, they're rugs. They are handmade rugs. 100% of all of these rugs are handmade. They are uh, uh, from uh, area uh, Kurdish rugs, I guess. And I'll, let me just have Nadim explain this to me. Nadim here is the is the guy that runs all of this. You have recently, you say you recently returned from Turkey and, and sourced all these rugs. Yeah? Yes, correct. Yeah, I was just in Turkey three, uh, two weeks ago. I got all my rugs from Kurdish nomadic people. They are very old rugs. I get them from small villages, from small towns. They're 100% handmade with natural dyes, organic wool. That's a big deal, too, is getting them all handmade. Handmade is a big deal, right? Absolutely, yes, yes. It lasts longer and also, you know, more artistic, and each motif has a different design, different meanings to them. Let's look over here and just show some of these a little bit. What are uh, the, the different motifs and the different designs here? Uh, how do they fit into somebody's home decor when they're, when, they're, when they're looking at rugs? I want that on my wall. I want that on my floor. How do they, how do, they yes. do that? So all of these rugs are multi-purpose. You can put on a wall or on a floor or you can, you know, use it as a blanket as well. Depends on the aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And they're, all the motifs are intentionally like, chosen by the tribal people. They have different meanings to the family. It can be for like love signs or like messages or, or so. And he's got, come in here for just a sec here. These is how these are handmade. Now, some of these bigger rugs, these will take yes. a better part of a year to make some of these larger rugs, correct? Almost exactly, yes. All of the rugs in here are made in something similar to this, but in a bigger scale. Yeah. 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 Well, this is really cool. Stop by and say hello to Nadim if you're here uh, this morning. Nomadic Vintage PDX. You'll know his uh, space here by all the rugs that are here. And he can talk your ear off about how these are made and show you the backs of them and stuff. It's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. We will see you this weekend here, and you don't don't trip over any any rugs over there. All right. Now, just down the street here, I got uh, the nomad, the antique nomad. That's George from Centralia, Washington, who's got an assortment of stuff here, and I got a I got a big reveal here to come up here. This is going to be the last thing I do. That's a little core, by the way. Okay, George. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You have some cool stuff here. Let's let's not talk. Let's get right into some of the cooler things you got. We got about a minute left to go. Come on back here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this, most women have been like that in my <laughs> life as well. You, you got an eclectic grouping of stuff here, and I, I just like to chuckle a little bit in my day, and I see things in here that just make me chuckle. Well, I like to buy anything that makes me smile. I travel coast to coast doing this, and I figure that if I see something and it makes me laugh out loud, I buy it. I'm the same way. A couple examples of that. What is this? Oh, here's this is so funny. These little stickers, some of these little silly things. There's a picture maybe in the 1930s, 1940s. I don't know if you can make it out there. A guy sitting there with his uh, or with his gal. Oh, Clarence, be careful. Mother might come in. Yes. Right? You can imagine what they're up to. Uh, well, this other thing here, too. This is, well, I'll, I'll end with this. We got so much stuff to do here. Uh, tricky Dick Nixon. Come on over here. So you, you, uh, you source this stuff in places that you think people would like it in other places. Yes, I find that a lot of things are in the wrong spot. So I was in a very rural place in Illinois, and I found this book, and I thought people in Portland would really be interested in this subject. Tricky Dick and the Pink Lady, mm -hmm. Richard Nixon versus Helen Goggin Douglas, Sexual Politics and the Red Scare, 1950. Yes, it's a pretty interesting book, actually. I spent a little time with it. And, yes, I found this uh, out in the middle of nowhere and thought this is something that should be on the West Coast where they would appreciate it and get the subject. You know, I don't even care what's inside. I just buy it for the cover. And that I'm sure a lot of people like that, right? It's true. I mean, a certain amount of this is people just buying to decorate and because something is interesting. And when you go in a home and you see something that stands out, well, then that's a conversation piece. And I think a lot of people come here for that. Totally is. Starting a conversation with a book or a trinket or something. Two more things here before we go. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. I don't know what it's for here, George. Read that to me, will you? It says, uh, sorry you're sick, but there's something I can help you with. Oh, wait a minute. Let me read it because no, you're not reading it right here. It, it says, look at that. Okay, it says, sorry you're sick, pal, but that's something I can't help you with. And then the picture of the guy there on the bottom says, now if it was dames or horses, that would be different. Okay, <laughs> now that's humor of a different era, era, but that is totally funny, and I love that. And last but not least, 
Come on in here. This is little Cor Harlan right here. He found this on his own. He's a chip off the old block right there because that, my friends, is a Rainier beer shirt. Now, if you go into you go into sixth grade next year with that shirt on, people would never stop talking about you. We'd probably never stop getting calls from the principal. But that <laughs> is a boss boss shirt right there. Can I get a shout out? Shout out to Coach Luis, you know, thank you, you know. <laughs> yeah, just thank yeah. you. Coach Luis, thank you, Coach Luis. Right. Shout out to Coach Luis, his soccer coach there. Oh, there you go. That's but you know great. what, with a Rainier jacket like that, if that, if that came in a double XL, I'd be walking out of here with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe absolutely. still maybe. <laughs> yeah, we, we know you're a big fan of Rainier beer. You know, that, that has been established over the course of our career here. This is here. true. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> all right, it'll be a fun event it's all weekend. Good. Thanks, Gore. It's good beer. It's good drinking beer. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. And, and it is. And I did say all weekend. Today and tomorrow, I should say. So not Sunday. Not Sunday, just, mm. to, just to clarify. Shout but it was a fun to event. Coach Luis. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. And, and we have identified that young man as Little Core. Little Core. Yeah, Little yep. Core. That's yeah. what I thought, yes. Yeah, we didn't know who he was at first.